Right, there's the nearly home tree. <laughs> Although, going for a local walk today. What a day, it's turned out beautiful. It rained all day yesterday. But I had a little bit of a sleeping after getting up early to drive to Plymouth. So I had a bit of a lay in, did a couple of jobs, I had to put a new glass and a wing mirror. Clipped by a lorry. Sorry if you're a lorry driver. See, you really are assholes on the road sometimes. And uh, oh, I've only got a thin top on and a jacket coat. Getting quite warm. Mind you, I'm walking a bit fast today, which is a good sign. Um, what's I going to say? Oh yeah, so there won't be a lot to see on the way, it's just lane walking, but uh, I still have a thermos of tea, some cheese sandwiches, oops, here comes the car. Which I shall toast if I'm able to. I should be able to, but where I'm going I haven't been for a couple of years now, I think. Because, uh, well, you know why. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't believe how beautiful it is. <laughs> Ooh. Are you loose? I know. You're behind the gate. <laughs> big farm this one I mean look at the size of that shed it just goes on forever and it's not the only shed they've got either <laughs> I don't milk cows here apparently what they do is they buy them and young and raise them or however long that takes and then sell them off to whoever wants to milk and breed them that's all they do is do that middle stage or early stage cool I just caught the farmer so I asked him I said are these fields across the main road yours he said yeah and I said look would you mind if you know, I walk across them at all, and he goes, no, 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 and I just said, well, there's no public footpath, so I just want to make sure, and he said, yeah, no, that's no problem, I said, great, because one of my little things I'd like to try is to walk from, walk from the house to Bodmin Moor, only the top end of Bodmin Moor, but um, to do that, I need to cut through some farm fields and cross two main roads. <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad I got that permission. I feel a bit more relieved about that. on the good side of the farmer. You own a lot of fields around here. Tree started to turn. Oh, reached a 
looks like the, the top of the bit of a hill. It wasn't steep, it was just long. I don't think I'm too far from where I'm going now. Maybe. Let's have a look. Okay, I've walked 1.4 miles according to Relive. And I think it's two miles. So I've still got just over half a mile to go. But uh, if it's, I think most of it's downhill now. Whew. It's warm in the sun. Oh, bit of a waterfall through there. Not surprised with the rain we had yesterday. Should be all coming down up the hill. Well, if you remember that walk I did, it me as long as I'd walk in a long time. And I went up through some fields and got into a village and then came down this really steep hill. And you can see it. That's that hill. So now we've got to go. I don't think it's too further on. Oh, I think I turn left just up here. Well, I made it. Oh, bit sloshy there. Let's hope uh, they've got a picnic table out. Well, they have. A lot of time they've put them all away. Usually I sit under that shelter, but the weather's so nice. I think I shall just sit here. So it is two miles exact. What I do now with these uh, solid fuels is I put a little bit of a fire starter on top of it, which catches light really fast, and use that to light the <laughs> solid fuel. I'm tired of trying to scrape it and get it to light. So this way is a lot easier. Anyway, I am going to have my toast sandwich and my tea. And then it will be a two mile walk back home. I'm sweating with that coat on, so I'm going to have to... I only bought a little tiny 15 litre backpack, so... There's no room to put my coat in there, so I'll have to wangle it through the shoulder straps somehow, I think. Night cook fast. Let's see if I can do one without burning them this time. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Right, well, one. Um, solid fuel tab cooked all my sandwiches feel a bit hungry still but never mind uh, I'll drink some tea that should fill me up and uh, sun's gone behind a cloud So it feels a little bit more chilly. A few little gusts of wind blew the windshield about a bit. But I think the, the trick to using these, is, with cooking these solid fuels, is to use the windshield. I can't remember, I've tried it before and remember I couldn't even get the water to boil, but using the windshield, poof, no problem. Helicopter. <coughs> Just 
you get a few flying over. Not sure if they're of the army or the um, hospital ones. And uh, got a few fight. We've had a few uh, fighter jets flying over as well. So. Getting in their practice, I guess. This thing's hot up in Europe. So I'm wondering if it's going to rain. Not to worry. I see how many two miles from home. Get wet and just will get changed. It's not cold out. Oh, the latest thing with me DNA. And to see if updated their profiling. Now I'm, I've got one percent Russian in me. So now you can call me Babushka. <laughs> Think I'm taking up golf. Whoa! Entertain for a little while. Oh, that was a good one. Not exactly straight. Very good. One more. Ah, one more. That was terrible. Wasn't very good either. Never mind. Well, hello there. Nearly there, tree. We meet again. 